Hello everyone. Nature has been astonishing people with its unpredictability since time immemorial. Today, in the 21st century, we have plenty of incredible technologies, but many common natural phenomena still remain understudied. Not to mention rare phenomena that only occur in certain regions of our planet. Killer clouds, white rainbows, and triple suns are just some of the few phenomena that you'll learn about in this video. Let's get it on. The border between two oceans. Did you know that the oceans are not completely isolated from each other? Most of them meet in a certain point. For example, the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans meet in the Drake Passage for more than 800 kilometers. But if you thought that the waters of these two oceans were simply mixed, and the border between them could only be determined using maps and coordinates, you're mistaken. In fact, the waters of different oceans and even some rivers never mix. This happens for a variety of reasons. But first and foremost, it's related to their different levels of salinity and density. Thanks to this, the so-called surface tension forms on the border between the two waters, and it prevents them from mixing. Usually, the border between the two oceans is visible to the naked eye, because they differ from each other in color. By the way, this phenomenon, which is known scientifically as halocline, was first discovered by Jacques-Yves Cousteau when exploring the Strait of Gibraltar. If you conduct such an experiment in a glass with some Atlantic and Pacific water, the effect will be the same. However, in this case, it will be a horizontal rather than a vertical halocline. Three suns. Ancient legends of different nations often tell about three suns that used to illuminate the Earth. Of course, this is just an old myth, but sometimes this phenomenon can really be found in nature. It's known as a halo, and it's a unique optical phenomenon, a luminous ring around a light source. According to meteorologists, the most common halo effect can be observed in the cold seasons in regions with a pretty harsh climate, such as Siberia or the US state of Wisconsin. In such places, you can find all three factors required for the phenomenon, severe cold, a bright sun, and high humidity. As a rule, a halo appears around the sun, but it sometimes can happen to the moon as well. This phenomenon is caused by the ice crystals that appear in the cirrus clouds of the upper layers of the troposphere at a small height, not further than 10 kilometers from the Earth. Sometimes a halo is like a rainbow or a light pillar, but in some cases it results in the appearance of a false sun in the sky, one or more. Our ancestors believed this phenomenon to be an omen of misfortune, and even described it in chronicles. Morning Glory this incredible meteorological phenomenon can only be seen in one place on Earth the northern shores of Australia, and only in the spring, too. In general, these clouds are Arcus clouds that travel at speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour and are associated with storms, wind gusts, and sharp pressure changes. It's not difficult to imagine the danger this poses to planes flying by. Due to its limited habitat, this phenomenon is still very poorly studied. There are several versions of it. Perhaps these are some sort of sleeping tornadoes, or maybe spiral arms of cyclones or a so-called squall cloud, which usually emerges in the atmosphere before a major thunderstorm. However, researchers mostly agree on the cause of morning glory. It's considered to be the movement of air masses as a result of the sea breeze. The only thing that meteorologists still don't understand is why this phenomenon occurs only in a particular region of Australia. Although there is some evidence that this phenomenon has been seen several times in other parts of the world, such as Brazil, but this is more of an exception to the rule. Pororoca in recent years, this Brazilian natural phenomenon has become an attraction for tourists from all over the world. The Pororoca is a giant tidal wave that occurs at the mouth of the Amazon River, in other words, where it meets the waters of the Atlantic Ocean. The powerful Atlantic tide, which takes place in this area on average twice a year, moves at an incredible speed for almost 800 kilometers up the Amazon. That is against its own current. The wave can rise up to four meters. Of course, 
the Pororoka entails horrible consequences for the surrounding regions. It often pulls trees out, washes away entire houses, flips boats, and floods crops. But this doesn't scare surfers from all over the world, who come here every year in an attempt to ride the deadly wave. It is very difficult, not only because of its speed, but also because of the properties of the water. After all, the water in the ocean is salty and less dense, which means that it's more slippery. At the same time, the water in the Amazon is fresh and heavier for surfing. But surfers are ready to do anything in order to ride the longest wave in the world. In Sao Domingos de Capim, a city in northern Brazil, they even hold an annual competition. By the way, the word Pororoca came from the Tupi language of the Tupi tribes, which inhabited the Brazilian coast before the arrival of the Portuguese colonizers. It can be translated as great roar. White Rainbow we know from childhood that a rainbow, and sometimes even two, appear in the sky on a sunny day after the rain. But did you know that there's another type of rainbow, a white rainbow? It's usually called a fog bow, and can be seen in regions where the air is often covered with mist. For example, in latitudes close to the Arctic Ocean. Basically, a white rainbow is the same as a normal rainbow, only bleached by fog. To be more precise, it becomes white because the fog consists of droplets of water that are smaller than raindrops. At the same time, the fog must be thin enough to let through the visible part of the sunlight spectrum. As a result, the edges of this rainbow sometimes have a blue or red shade, but it's white inside. By the way, fog bows can appear in the sky even at night. In this case, it's known as a moonbow. Sea foam. When we hear the word sea foam, most of us probably imagine the little mermaid, which turned into foam at the end of the tragic fairy tale by Hans Christian Andersen. But what about sea cappuccino? Yes, that's real. It's a phenomenon when a lot of sea foam is thrown ashore at once, setting up an unusual foam party for the locals. But to be honest, this phenomenon is more like the result of washing dirty laundry. It's as if some sea lord has gone a little too far with the detergent. But seriously, where does this strange phenomenon really come from? In fact, there are several factors that cause it. A sufficient amount of ocean debris and algae, high temperatures, enough salt and strong winds. So basically, sea foam is a mixture of waste and salt, which begins to wander and bubble in warm water, and the wind and currents help it to get to the shore. People are fascinated fascinated by the view and are happy to take pictures and swim in the clouds of sea foam, not even knowing that it is in fact the devastating consequences of human ignorance towards the environment. Giant Bear Shadow this phenomenon may not be so sophisticated from a natural point of view, but it is no less unique in its awesomeness. This giant bear shadow appears in the mountains of the American state of North Carolina several times a year and attracts a huge number of amazed tourists. However, some people see other animals in it, a dog or a hippo. Every day from late October to early November, and from mid-February to early March, the shadow of the animal appears on the slopes for only half an hour. However, this time is more than enough for tourists to take a lot of amazing photos of this miracle, provided, of course, that the sky is completely cloudless. <laughs> Underwater Circles once upon a time, back in 1995, a group of divers discovered some amazing symmetrical figures near the Japanese island of Amami Oshima in the East China Sea. The incredible phenomenon was similar to a real work of art made of sand and looked like a perfect circle with symmetrical rays extending from the center. Of course, researchers immediately began working on their theories about the origin of these figures, and ordinary people simply thought they were paranormal. The authors of these works were found not so long ago, 18 years later. It turned out that these figures are made by tiny fish from the Pterodontidae family.
their size doesn't exceed 12 centimeters, while the diameter of their underwater creations sometimes reaches 2 meters. But why do they do it? Is it just for fun? Well, of course not. There is a logical explanation for this, as well as for everything else in nature. The fact is that this is how the male fish prepare a hole for the eggs. The female puts them in the hole if she likes it, and then the male fertilizes them. However, scientists have not been able to understand by what criteria the female individuals assess the quality of work of their significant other. Ice Tree this remarkable effect can be seen on trees after an ice rain in the forest. Their entire trunk is covered with a thin ice crust, and under it you can see little streams of water running down. What an awesome visual effect! But what is this mysterious ice rain? Can the rain fall at all at sub-zero temperatures? Well, logically, it should simply freeze and turn into solid precipitation, right? Well, turns out it can, even at very low temperatures. In such cases, each drop of rain is packed in an ice capsule, which is immediately broken when in contact with any hard surface. As a result, the water runs out and the top layer of water freezes instantly. This is the explanation for this curious phenomenon that appears on tree trunks. <laughs> That's amazing. Psst, dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great.